So here we have a question from the Pure Mathematics 1 International A-Level um, Pearson at Excel book. Question 19 from Review Exercise 2, page 183. And um, this question here we are asked to, f to show that the shaded area um, is r squared over 12 times 3 root 3 minus pi. Okay, so in order to do this, um, what comes to my mind is to draw a line to draw a line um, between A and this point here, which I can call anything. Let me say, let's call it the point um, P. Okay, that's the point P where this line and that meet. And we formed here like a sector of um, a circle with the center A. Okay, so we've got, we've got a sector of a circle, center A. All right, now if this is R, this must also be R because it's the radius of this sector. Okay, and um, also I can join a line from P to B. Okay, now as this length is R and this length is also R, then the length from B to P is also R, which means that we have here an equilateral triangle. Okay, so these angles are all 60 degrees. Well, because we're going to use uh, radians to work out the... Of course, we're going to be dealing with radians here in terms of um, um, radian measure and ar arcs, um, areas of s sectors and so. Um, this is 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. Okay, so these angles are pi over 3. And this angle, because this is a rectangle, uh, it tells us that this is... Sorry, this is a square, so the square its angle on the corners is 90, so if that's pi over 3, this must be okay, um, pi over 6, so add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's going to be, you know, that's 2 pi over 6, and that's 1 pi over 6, that gives you 3 pi over 6, pi over 2. Okay, that's 30 degrees, that's 60 degrees. So now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use if I put this pi over 6 over here, if I find the area of this sector ADP, a, so if I find the area of the sector ADP, okay, minus the area of, so this is A, and this is D, and this is P, and this is 30 degrees, which is pi over 6, and this is the radius. And I take away the area of this segment here. You have like a segment. It's not drawn very well, but there's a segment which is going from A to P. Okay, this segment here. I'll just colour it in a, in a different colour. So the area of this segment. If I take away the area of this segment from the area of that sector, I'll be left with the shaded area that we're required to find. Okay, so this is part of, this segment is part of this sector ABP. Okay, it's part of the sector ABP. Okay, and this angle here is 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. And this, the radius of this is R. So the area of this minus the area of that will give me the area that's required. Okay, so what is the area of this? Well, it's a half r squared theta. The area of a sector is given by the formula a half r squared theta. Okay, that's for a sector. So the area of this sector is going to be a half times r squared times pi over 6. Okay. And I've got to take away from that the area of this segment. Now, the area of the segment is the area of the whole sector, which is a half r squared theta, which is half r squared pi over 3, minus the area of this triangle, which is a triangle which is, um, we have the two sides, which are both r, and the angle between them, so it's a half r squared sine theta. Okay, so we can combine that into one formula. So the area of this segment is going to be given by a half r squared times theta minus sine theta. Okay, half r squared theta is the area of the whole sector, and a half r squared sine theta is the area of the triangle. Subtracting them will give me the area of the segment. So it's a half times r squared 
times theta. This time theta is pi over 3, not pi over 6. So you have pi over 3 minus sine of pi over 3. Okay, that should give us the required answer. Okay, so this gives us pi r squared over 12. So pi times r squared over 12 minus, and you're going to have a minus um, a half pi r, pi r sorry, minus a half pi r squared over 6. So sorry, minus pi r squared over 6, minus pi r squared over 6. You're going to have a minus times minus, which is plus. Now, the sine of pi over 3, that's a sine of 60 degrees, is going to be root 3 over 2. So it gives us root 3 over 2. So you're going to have a half r squared times root 3 over 2. So you're going to have r squared times root 3, okay, over 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, this, this whole thing here, sine pi over 3, gives us root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2 times a half is root 3 over 4 times r squared minus times minus three plus. Now, pi r squared over 12. So let's now make the common denominator 12. So this is fine. This is already over 12. This one, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. Okay, so we're going to have 2 pi r squared over 12. So the pen's starting to go to pi here. Plus... And we're going to have to multiply this by 3 to make it go into, to make it become 12, so multiply this by 3. So we'll have r squared times 3 root 3 over 12. Okay, let's just continue down here. Okay, so now we're almost there. Now what we have to do is we have to um, combine these together. Well, these two are like terms. Pi r squared over 12 minus 2 pi over squared over 12 gives you minus pi over squared. So let's write this one first. Let's write um, 3 root 3 times r squared over 12 minus, you have 1 pi r squared over 12. Common factor is 12, r squared and 12. You write r squared over 12 and you're left with inside the brackets 3 root 3 minus pi. And there we have, we've, we've, we've shown it. However, one thing that I'd like you to realize is the question, in fact, was incorrect. Okay? The way the question looks now is correct. This is exactly how it should be. Okay? Um, however, the actual question was this. That was the actual question. Okay? And if that was the actual question, then it should say, show that the area of the shaded region is r squared over 6 times 3 root 3 minus pi. Because that's twice what we found. Okay? So as, um, you know, this is what you find. This is basically the shaded area of half of it. Uh, you know, of one of these parts is r squared over 12, 3 root 3 minus pi. And I've looked through the answer at the back of the book. They've done it a slightly different way, but they've done that same thing. They've basically only, shared, they've only found one of those shaded areas. They haven't multiplied it by 2. And that's where there's a mistake, okay? They've, they've made a mistake in, in the question itself. It should, sh it should either be what I showed earlier, okay? It should be either that should be the question, or they should put r squared over 6 times 3 root 3 minus pi, show that the area is, is equal to that. So I, ch I modified the question so that it looks, so this is correct. It's basically what the, this shaded area of one of those parts here is r squared over 12, 3 root 3 minus pi. Um, if they wanted us to find this part as well, it should be r squared over 6 times 3 root 3 minus pi. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's um, now correct the way it's shown here. Okay, so the actual, the, I think there was a mistake in the question itself. Okay, and um, if anyone knows any different, please let me know. Okay, thank you.